Okay, so greenhouse update. Um, built this little stand, just a uh, real simple two by four construction with some OSB I had lying around. Keep sun out of my fish tank, keep algae from growing, keep fish tank temp down. Uh, built this little, I don't know, waterfall pipe thing. Uh, help with some surface ag agitation. Put my active aqua. What we got here? This is like a 20 watt consumption. I don't know. It's, I've had this one for a while. It's old. Um, focus upside down. Yeah. Maybe that'll do it. I don't know. Let's see if YouTube corrects that. Um, okay, so the tank's got adjustment output right there. Flows into a DWC bed now that you can see right inside here. Um, ultimately, this is going to not bend here. It's going to go straight piped up through here into a radial flow filter that sits up here, and then that's going to go back down and go in over here where that's currently going in. So inside hasn't really changed much other than I got rid of this big old useless gravity manifold. Um, that just stayed in here this long because that was originally going to be my fish tank. Because uh, I was going to try to keep everything contained to inside the greenhouse. But that fish tank, uh, where it was going to be in the greenhouse, I had concerns about it heating up too much. Um, so I nixed that. So I'm happy that I can get a D DWC bed in here in the meantime. Um, inside of this, just little input pipe, stand pipe on the inside for uh, flow out and to keep the level at a good level for the roots. Probably just going to stick some net pots on the inside of this lid, honestly. Um, need to do something a little about the uh, little bow out here. I'm not terribly worried about it, but like over time that could be bad and I'd really hate to come in here one morning to whole thing having flooded just because my DWC bed cracked or some shit. Um, these are just doing their thing. Like all the siphons worked out so nobody nobody flows constantly anymore. Um, the flows are all pretty good now. So yeah, things are going well. Mm, system should be able to just cycle now. Um, I was having some issues with an inline Y strainer that I cleared out. It's still in the system. I just pulled the strainer out of the inside of it. Um, it functions pretty well as a clean out because a hose hooks right up to it. That little guy right there. There's the, there's the strainer back there. That guy was fucking me. Fucking me so bad I went and bought a new pump because I thought my old pump had burnt out. So if you got a pump slowing down, kind of bogging after, after time and you've got a Y strainer in line, Check and see if your wife's trainer's full of shit, huh? Alright. That's that's it.